coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Distracted driving continues to be a major factor of accidents across Saskatchewan. And policing agencies continue to stress the importance of keeping your eyes on the road at all times. Innovation Credit Union, headquartered out of Swift Current, is looking to expand its boundaries and go national. Weather is a constantly changing factor out on the prairies, and no matter the time of the year, you should be prepared for an emergency. Thanks for joining us here today. Distracted driving is the focus of a province-wide traffic blitz this month, and you're again being reminded to keep your eyes on the road. Distracted driving continues to be a major factor of accidents across Saskatchewan, and policing agencies continue to stress the importance of keeping your eyes on the road at all times. Distracted driving can be uh, any number of things from using your cell phone to manipulating your navigation system to even drinking coffee or, or eating while you're driving, attending to your pet in your vehicle. Uh, those are, are some examples of what could be considered distracted driving that would result in an accident. It, uh, it just takes a split second when you're driving 50 kilometers an hour to go 45 feet. Um, so, you know, we see people flipping down their visors, looking in their vanity mirrors, um, and you can just that distracts people from what they should be doing, which is focusing on the road. According to stats from SGI, there were 5,700 collisions in the province in 2015, all due to distracted driving, resulting in 803 injuries and 36 fatalities. Numbers which could be greatly reduced if drivers paid more attention to the roadway. If it's absolutely necessary to have your cell phone on while you're driving, um, our recommendation obviously is, is to pull over to the side of the road. That's a requirement of law. Um, unless you have a phone that you can activate with the push of one button or use hands-free without ta uh, touching or manipulating it, you are breaking the law and could be subject to a $280 fine and four demerit points or safe driving uh, recognition points as they're sometimes referred to. More information on distracted driving and the new provincial law surrounding cell phone use in Saskatchewan can all be found online through SGI. For over 12 years, Southwest TV News has provided the visuals for the defining moments in our community. Support your community and help us to continue our work. Support our sponsors by watching the ads on YouTube and by clicking the ads on our website. Pennies per click, which will help us continue to bring you the award-winning news coverage you've come to expect from Southwest TV News. Innovation Credit Union is looking to expand beyond its current borders. We have more in this report. Credit unions are known for their local roots in the communities they serve, offering not only a familiar face to their customers, but also competitive products. And with an ever-growing landscape of financial institutions, Innovation Credit Union, headquartered out of Swift Current, is looking to expand its boundaries and go national. Currently with 23 branches from Frontier to Buffalo Narrows, the move to being a national bank would make them more competitive now and into the future. One of the big drivers around the, the things that are impacting our industry is competition and technology. So if you, if you look at the new startups that are wanting to get into our business, uh, there's, there's 1,400 just in payments alone and you know, you're right, 12,000 know, across North America that are in our, our neck of the woods. Those entities have the ability to come in and compete with us. We don't have the ability to go out and compete with them. And that's where I talk about leveling the playing field. It's a key, key component and a key element to um, our bid to become a federal credit union. In order to be regulated as a federal financial institution, there's a number of steps to take. And it all starts with getting the innovation membership on board with the idea. So we have to reach out to those uh, owners that, uh, that are eligible to vote and provide them with a full range of information on the benefits and, and the uh, negative side of looking at this initiative. And then from there we can take that vote in uh, November and see where it goes. So if we, 
If we have uh, over 75% of our membership in favour, that allows us to move to the next step. Doesn't mean we're out of the woods, we still have to apply to become a federally regulated credit union. And if Innovation Credit Union is approved for national status, Johnson says the customer service and employment opportunities will remain intact. We view that if we are in a, a, an evolving and growing organization, that just means more jobs, you know, right here in our in our region. And you know, where we're where we see that happening is our first phase of this would be to expand beyond our provincial borders digitally. We don't see ourselves, you know, building locations and. Uh, so from that perspective, if we were to grow our membership digitally, we would need more people here to serve those members. Voting by Innovation members will take place this fall. And if all goes according to plan, Innovation Credit Union plans to become a national financial institution by 2020. Market Square is a summer tradition in downtown Swift Current. And organizers are now searching for entertainers, food vendors, and artisans to be part of the excitement for the upcoming season. Contact Marlene today at 750-7888 and spend your Saturdays in downtown Swift Current this summer. Market Square, proudly presented by the City of Swift Current, Standard Motors, Innovation Credit Union, and Southwest TV News. Power outages or severe weather can occur at any time, and you should be able to ride out the storm for at least 72 hours. Weather is a constantly changing factor out on the prairies, and no matter the time of the year, you should be prepared for an emergency. And it all starts with being prepared for the next 72 hours. There was a major power outage in the Maritimes uh, recently, which um, uh, caused uh, days and days of no power. It took down everything. Um, typically, we don't see those kinds of ice storms in Saskatchewan, but we have had uh, power outages that can last, you know, two or three days. Uh, make sure that you have some way of heating your home uh, when you don't have power. Your furnace won't run, stuff like that. If you decide to run a generator, don't run it inside. Put it outside and run a cord inside because the carbon monoxide will kill you. And your carbon monoxide detectors probably aren't working if there's no power. So, you know, things like that you need to be aware of. Also, if there's a major emergency, remember that you should be able to take care of yourself for 72 hours. Have food, water, clothing, uh, your medications to last for about 72 hours. We will try to get to everybody we can as soon as we can, but uh, when you've got 17,000 citizens and uh, 20 firefighters, it takes us a while to get there, and same with public works and light and power. We, we prioritize things and we work as hard and as fast as we can to get things restored and get people safe but we can't get to everybody at the same time. Elon further adds that we also need to be mindful of the day-to-day -day items we regularly use and often take for granted. That's right, you know, a lot of people don't think about the cash end of things, but, uh, you know, we all live with that credit card or, or the uh, bank card and we go to buy groceries and we buy them with our bank card. One of the biggest issues in those power outages is, first of all, the uh, item on the shelf in their grocery store doesn't have a price on it. It's got a price on the shelf, but not on the item. So they can't even ring it through without power. And then when they do ring it through or they finally get it added up, they can't take your credit card to pay for it. They want cash. So have a little bit of cash set aside. Weather-related emergencies or natural disasters can happen at any time. And the better prepared you are in advance, the easier it will be to focus on the issues at hand when an emergency occurs. If you'd like more details on planning your own home emergency kit to cover you for 72 hours, contact your local fire department. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.